Mark, can I have just a minute of your time? Yeah, um, sure. I got this letter from my broadband provider the other day. Yeah. Something about infringing on terms and conditions. A little bit concerned. They're talking about prosecuting us. Really? So, um, yeah. Can you just, yeah, just take yeah, a look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me grab your tea for you. Thanks. Uh, you know what? This is this is about file sharing. File sharing, but I, mean, I hardly use the internet. I occasionally get on BBC, and that's about it. It's only really my sister at home. Does she have a lot of MP3s, or she's not got an iPod, but I know she uses them on her phone. She might download them from the net. Um, and that's always illegal. Well, no, actually, it's not. What they're doing is sending out letters to anyone that they that they find who's file sharing. And the thing is, there's nothing illegal about it. I mean, you might be downloading perfectly legal things from the internet. You know, the thing is, is they don't even have any real evidence that you're doing anything wrong. Well, why are they sending me this letter about being prosecuted? Well, they just want to scare you. The well, I'm not scared. I'm pretty angry about it. What yeah. can I do here? I, I need to get them off my back. Well, what can we do, is the question. Okay. There's a group called the Open Rights Group okay. that I'm a member of. They campaign against this kind of stuff, this sort of over-the-top, you know, let's send out threatening letters to everyone. Okay, how do I get in touch with these guys? It's openrightsgroup.org. Do I have to pay them any money? It's about five or a month. But they're good guys. Yeah, they're good guys, and they do all kinds of stuff like uh, privacy, the you know, spread of CCTV cameras. Uh, talking about which, office cameras last week. Yeah. I Did know. you get a memo or anything? <laughs> no, no. Didn't it's see anything. Awful. About it. I know. It's ridiculous. Seriously, I need to speak to my manager. And I'm you know really what? unhappy with it. Yeah. Well, you know, one of the things the government wants to do is start tracking everything that everyone does online. Like every website you visit, every email you send, they want the ISPs to keep a copy of it. And they can do that? Well, they, they're trying. So, you know, go to uh, openrightsgroup.org and there's all kinds of stuff about the campaigns they do and the things they're, they're working against. And give them a look. To great. Like, if hey. they can sort this out for me, I'm happy to give them five pounds a month. Yeah. Definitely. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Grand. Good luck. Take care. Thank you. You can't do anything anymore without someone either telling you not to do it or trying to charge you for it. Take parking. I can't even park outside my house without them charging me. I've got kids, I've got shopping, and if I don't pay, they've got bloody cameras everywhere trying to catch me. And you know the worst thing about it? I'm bloody paying for the cameras. <laughs> yeah, but all you ever do is moan, 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 moan. You never do anything positive about it. You never pick up a telephone, you never write a letter, you never vote. Yeah, but what can I do about it? All the politicians all bloody say. I'll tell you what I am. I'm that silent majority. So if I started the silent majority party, which let you park outside your house, would you vote? No. Why, why not? They're too much hassle. What, putting a cross in a box? Yeah, look, I've got a job, I've got kids. The polling station is nowhere to bloody park. Look, you know what they should do? Like Big Brother, you know? Text in your vote or the uh, red button on your television remote, you know, that'd be easier. Well, they have run some trials, but the problem with e-voting is it's much harder to double-check the results. And, and, and the government doesn't have the best record of looking after our data. Yeah, but I've got a new ID card. That'll make things better, won't it? So, hang on, you trust the same people that lost 25 million personal financial details in the post, left terrorist organisation information on the train, and, and, and a prisoner's detail stolen from a parked car with knowing how you voted. And, and being able to cross-reference that with everything else they know about you, like, like where you park and, and where you drink and where you shop and what you buy and, and, and what time you stagger home. Well, maybe not what time I come home at night. Thing is, old-fashioned paper voting is actually pretty good at being verifiable and anonymous, which is kind of important in a democracy. Yeah, but why bother? I mean, the same people get in all the time. You know, it's virtually a dictatorship anyway. <laughs> well, it's not a dictatorship quite yet. I mean, there are people who are keeping this country from becoming one. Really? Like who? Well, like the Open Rights Group. I, I support them. They were the ones who exposed all the flaws in e-voting. Open who? The Open Rights Group. They are civil liberties campaigners for the digital age. They campaign on e-voting, privacy, that kind of things. Then I might vote for. Well, for the price of a couple of pints a month, you can support them. I'm a supporter as well. You're a supporter as well? Sure, so you'll join them? Hmm, I might do that. Why not tell your friends? <laughs>